In supply chain management, we are interested in flow of physical goods and in healthcare operations management, we are interested in improving the quality of life for patients that can be treated as the flow in healthcare systems. I was working on a research proposal with a group of uh, faculty members from UT Southwestern when uh, Dr. Bob Handler of Parkland Hospital heard that I have never visited Parkland. He invited me to visit and I was very much interested because of my uh, training and expertise in industrial engineering, uh, visiting an actual system to understand the operations in the system is a valuable opportunity. I was able to observe a specific stream of patients who were arriving for dialysis treatment and I could see during that visit I could implement some of the fundamental tools and techniques to model the arrival process of dialysis patients in Parkland ER to improve operations. We have developed a process flow diagram that basically shows how the patients arrive and flow through the system. Uh, and working on that diagram, uh, we have been able to identify several research problems of interest. End-stage renal disease is a catastrophic, uh, life-threatening illness with a very short life expectancy and the regular treatment for end-stage renal disease is scheduled dialysis. However, uninsured patients, they do not have access to regular treatment. The only option for them is to seek dialysis in emergency condition by visiting uh, the ER. Most of these patients in DFW end up going to Parkland Hospital regularly. They serve this patient group by offering compassionate dialysis. There is a cohort of 120 or so patients in DFW area who seek dialysis treatment uh, by showing up in the emergency room. Under the screening protocol, a certain percentage of the patients may also be rejected as per the county uh, policy. We have modeled the flow of compassionate dialysis patients in order to understand the impact of the rejection policy on system performance. We have developed some explicit results uh, with the idea of verifying the notion that the rejection policy might alleviate load. Uh, we also have several counterintuitive results where we show that the rejection policy itself may lead to congestion alone because we keep rejecting patients knowing that in most cases they would return only within hours and when they return they are subject to the exact same screening protocol in the emergency room. Of course our ultimate goal is to impact county policy. We are interested in broader uh, questions. We are interested in understanding, for example, the impact of explicit outsourcing policies on congestion in ER and on the system load because outsourcing is an effective way of alleviating load associated with the uh, compassionate dialysis patient. We are interested in understanding the difference between the existing compassionate dialysis practice versus offering scheduled dialysis as a hypothetical example. Using our uh, computer-based simulation models, we are in a position to validate the efficacy of scheduling patients to a clinic. The research has broader impact because the mathematical models are applicable uh, for any system with chronic arrivals, chronic re-entry, 
and subject to a screening uh, protocol. The next step for the research project is to look at alternative policies to relieve the burden associated with screening policies in obtaining uh, patient-specific data and utilizing this data, especially arrival data, uh, over a number of years so that we can analyze um, patterns and perhaps try to understand the experience of an individual patient rather than an average patient. The healthcare industry has been under tremendous pressure to improve efficiency, to cut costs in general. There are pressures from everywhere to make these systems uh, more efficient. Being able to uh, work on a problem like this that has such broad impact, uh, I believe has been a very valuable experience for all of the SMU collaborators on this project.